His career right now is just mind blowing to me because a year ago, none of this, none of this was like this. This was definitely my dream at that, at that age to be performing in front of crowds like this. Uh, right now we're in Seattle, Washington. We're here for the uh, Hobson Jordan Lucas Token Tour. It's as crazy how fast this all happens, you know? And, it, and it's just the timing too, like his project had just come out and for him to be, you know, go on this, go on this tour right after the project, it, it was the perfect timing. And, and you know, they say when the stars align, it, it just does. Give it up for Token! We heard about the tour and we submitted and uh, I actually got the call when, uh, that the tour was happening when I was in a tutoring session for pre-calculus with my tutor, Mr. Fu. And, and my manager called, he, he knows I'm in tutoring so I was like, why is he calling? Like he wouldn't used to do that. So I picked it up and he's like, we're going on a nationwide tour with Hobson, pack your bags. And I was like, I've, I lost it. Pre-calculus was not, I was not focusing on that for the rest of the day. I met Hobson in 2012, I was 13. And it was the first day I met John Glass. He took me to a Hobson concert because he knew I was such a big fan. He went outside and was just signing some autographs like way after the show. And there was about like 30 people there. I went up to him like, I was like, yo, bro, I'm gonna rap. And he didn't like pay it any mind because he was talking to all these other fans. He was like, yeah, 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 go, go, go. And uh, I rap and uh, Hobson went silent and it, it turned into like my first performance in public ever. It was crazy. In 2012, I was 13 and just to see it come full circle that my first US tour is joining him on the road. It's, uh, it's insane. It was like it's destiny. Man, yeah, 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 you're really dope. I, I came out to um, watch you because uh, my light guy, he was like, yo, Token's killing it. So <laughs> yeah. we, don't, we don't decide to watch it, but it's always dope to just see you. It's been dope in like really having the crowd like really listen to it. Yeah. Everybody looking like a puppet to me, but everyone's too stupid to sing it. I'm not surprised. No, I give a stop to this. I'm the prophet, not only in 10 off profit, but still cycle to my psychologist. It's cool though being in those situations because you get to really just test yourself and find out ways to win the crowd over. Because I feel yeah. like that's the, that, that is how you can tell whether someone is a true MC where they can like find, it's always gonna They're be gonna an obstacle, but, yeah. you can, but if you're able to tap into that and really find a way to make them love you, it's that, that's, that's a yeah. good feeling. It's just as satisfying as them all showing up where you find it. Exactly. Yourself. Yeah. Since the last time we spoke, I released my debut mixtape, uh, Racer Shavings. It, it debuted at like number three on the hip hop charts, which I didn't expect at all. Like that was insane. I just did the, the Cypher and the BET Awards, which is like always has been a dream of mine. It was like the suede thing. It was like, I grew up watching those. So to be a part of that, it was like a little nerve wracking. It's all new. It's like sometimes we'll just be somewhere and I'll be like looking at the people I'm with and I'm like, damn, like this all came from me writing in a notebook when I was in first grade, you know? I didn't have any idea of what was gonna happen, but it's happening and it's, it's amazing. <laughs>